Welcome back. This is Thrawn from um, Thrawn Gaming. Um, I want to give you a updated guide on LVI. Um, it's gone through a lot of changes since the last time I did this, and I have had um, some requests to make an update um, as the overall look has changed. So I'm not going to go into how to install this and, and get the initial setup done. I will place a link in the description below that will give you the um, how to do that, the guidelines on how to do that. Um, but this is going to be starting at the general tab, um, and it's going to allow you... I'm going to take it an episode, and it'll, it'll take you step by step on on the different things within LVI and how to set it up and what the, what the changes are. So initially, um, if you don't have your data text bar set up, which is this button right here allows me to open LVI. Um, if you don't have that, you just type ELVUI and it opens up the configuration page. As you can see, I'm running version 10.52. This is the most current version of LVI. Um, and I would recommend that you update to that if you haven't already. There's a lot of changes since the last time I did this. And if you haven't updated it, you want to make sure you get the most current update. So this is going to cover the general tab. And then at the end, I'm going to go to the profile tab and I'm going to pull that up. All right. So this is what you're going to see on your general tab. And in each inside of each tab, there are multiple tabs. And I'll hit each one of those. So under general. We have um, a thin border, and then you can announce interrupts, um, or and then you can do auto repairs. So um, auto repairs allow you to use a guild, none, none meaning you make the decision, or it's going to auto repair based on the player's um, gold. So I always use my gold to, to do my repairs. All right, and then you can decide on emote, whether you have an emote, um, for announcements of interrupts or not. You can announce the party only, party raid, raid only, or you can say it. Um, I don't use this, but I've seen people that have. Um, and then you can use a thin border theme, which is what I do. Now, these are the rest of the general settings, and I'm just going to run through them real quick. You can accept auto, auto accept uh, invites if you want. I never do because... There are people out there that will just invite you to a group and not ask. I don't like that. Um, this will enable or disable the loot frame. If there's a check mark in there, it's enabled. And that goes with everything else that you see with the check mark. You can hide your error text um, and, and the top panel. The top panel, you see how at the top of my panel it goes dark? Um, that's the top panel. That's the second panel that's behind it. If I was to disable the data text bars that are up the top, I would get rid of it. Um, you would see just a dark panel. So I don't use that because I use um, data text bars um, as my panels. Um, you can disable tutorial buttons, which I normally do. Um, and by taking that out, you will re-enable and it'll start showing up. And that's a window that comes up when you first log in. Okay, vendor grays. This will automatically vendor grays at any vendor that you go to that has the capability to repair. Um, I use that and it'll all automatically um, at the same time repair. So it does those two things automatically as soon as I go to a vendor. Loot roll window is enabled or disabled just by putting a check mark in here. You can disable it. AFK mode. I use this um, because if I walk away from my computer, I'm still logged in. I don't want the computer to automatically log me out. Um, so what will happen is it'll put a, an image of your character down in, the, down in the bottom right corner of the screen and he'll start dancing and then you'll have an LVI message across the bottom of it with, um, your, your faction symbol and also it'll have a timer to show how long you've been away. Um, auto scale will allow your, um, your, um, profile the scale based on the size of the um, screen. The lowest that I have is set right now is, is 64, uh, but you can go as high as, I think it was 200% is the highest it will go. 
um, action point six four is the lowest allowable. Is the largest allowable. Okay, so you can change that. Talking heads. Talking heads are the um, um, the pop ups that show up in the um, the characters when you go to a world quest, for example. Uh, you'll see a, an NPC pop up and you'll see a talking head. Um, if you toggle anchors heads, you can see there's my talking head frame. That's where it shows up. I can, you can move it wherever you want. We'll get into this right here later on. Um, and then this just is your number scaling uh, um, based on, you know, millions of gold. Uh, damage, thousands, billions, whatever. Okay, so that's that's just number of prefixes that it shortens, that LVI will shorten it to. So media, when we talk about media, we're talking about the look of your screen. As you can see, all of my text is the same, and I do that um, by setting my font to 15, setting my font to expressway and yes i have a lot more fonts in there than your average person does there is actually an add-on that you get that will pull a lot of media for you um, and not just text it will also pull um you know different skins for your bars um but what i do is i set the font to 15 and then i set a default font to expressway and i apply it to all it, it changes the majority of your your um, your fonts, not all of them, but you can go also go in and change those at different locations as well. So my combat text font is also set ex at Expressway, and then my name font is also set Expressway, and it replaces uh, the Blizzard font panels um, on different um, panels. So these are your primary and secondary textures and textures are used on things like your unit frames as you can see i have cloud set or mine for both primary and secondary you can apply all text you can also change your secondary text to a different one if you want and then you can set your uh, border color background color uh, your fade color and then your value color so my value color is as you can see um, my text value is set to my class color. And that changes all of the fonts that you see here. Not on details. Details you have to configure yourself. Uh, and details is my, um, my damage meter. So you can change the colors for that as well. And remember, anytime you change a color, you see a square like that, it's going to bring you your color picker up. And then you be able to select your color. Class totems, usable for things like, um, uh, again, totems, shamans. So you can change the number of shaman or the number of totems you see, and also the uh, font or, or the size of the button. Excuse me. And then you can decide whether you want to see it ascending or descending, and whether you want to see it horizontal or vertical. Cooldown text. Cooldowns text is your text that shows up over your buttons when you use it. So if I was to use, for example, revival, there you go, three minutes, it's here. Now, once that number drops below three minutes into seconds, it'll turn yellow. If it was hours, it'll be a light blue and days will be a, a bluish color. Um, and you can change those numbers or, or those colors anytime you want. And your threshold is the threshold in seconds before this will go to red and it'll change it to a more precise uh, cooldown. And you can choose to enable, enable or disable your cooldowns. All right, so the next thing is your, your, uh, your chat. Um, the bubbles that show up over your head when you say something. So if I was to say, there you go. That's the bubble it's talking about. And you can choose how you want it to, to look, or you can disable it completely or move backgrounds. Um, and then you can choose your uh, 
uh, font. Of course, I use Expressway just to keep everything consistent. And then I have my font size set to 15 and outline. That could be increased or lowered. Uh, just remember, anytime that you change a font or a texture, it's changing a lot of things in it, and it requires a restart. Okay, your objects frame. This is this frame right here. So when you're tracking an objective, um, you want to see it. You select track, and this is um, how much, how high, how the height of this right here. So it's set for default 480, which is your default standard. If you if you're one of those that likes to track a lot of things, you can set it to size 1080, and this will help you decide. Uh, where your bonus uh, loop will show up. So you can set it for automatic left or right. I just keep mine to the left, so if, if there's a loop that shows up, it'll be right here on the left. And then your threat. So your threat is a bar that will enable. So I'm a healer. I don't want any threat. So this is where my threat, if I see this turn red, I know that I've gained threat and I have to do something about it. And you can decide whether you want it on your left or your right. Mine shows up here on, excuse me. Yeah, it shows up on the right. And then if I wanted to, I could have it show up on my left chat. These are your chat frames. We'll go over those a little bit later on. But that's where that's, that shows up. Now, the only other thing I want to cover is profiles. When you create a profile, or when you log in for the first time on a character, it's going to create a profile, and usually what it does, it'll take your character's name and your realm. So, and I don't change that. I make it real simple. There's Throne Monk of Chandris, so that's what I use. Now, the thing is, you can change it, so you type in a name, and you can change what you want it to look like. So if you decide you want to name it Monk or Minimalistic, or if you want to use this on your entire realm, just name it for your realm. Um, and then you can set that as your existing profile. You can also create different profiles for each class. So in other words, I have Promonk on Chandra's for this one. But let's say for this one, I wanted a default one, which I just did. Okay, And then for Windwalker, I want minimalistic. So when I change um profiles it will automatically change for me so i don't like this one so i want to go back to throne monk right there and boom it put it right back and i don't want that one i want throne monk again and i want to disable and it says throne monk is my existing one so i'm going to keep that one now, what I do is I usually copy, I create a profile on one, and I like to use the same profile. I have 13 characters. I, did, I, I don't want to have to try and figure out what I'm looking at, so I keep it all the same. And then I create, um, I copy that profile. And you do that by, once you log into another character, you select that, and you copy from Throne D, uh, DH, in this case, my Demon Hunt. Or maybe I want to copy this one as um, Throne Knight PvP. That's my Death Knight's PvP spec or setup. I don't want to change that. So I'm going to copy it, and it'll allow me to use this one. Um, you can go in and delete a profile. If you don't like the way it looks, you delete it, and then go back and recreate it. Maybe you delete a character. You get rid of that uh, profile. That's simple. Now, the other nice thing is this right here. You can actually um, share your current profile. So if you have someone that you know that is using LVI, you select them and you share a current profile, it'll send the profile to them. Now, depending on their resolution and everything else, it may have to adjust a few things, and the, the individual may have to go personalize it for them. It's up to them. Uh, you can share your filters only. Um, and again, I don't use filters, so whatever standard for LUI is what I use. Export profile is actually pretty cool. So it brings up this export profile window. You say export as a text table plugin. The easiest thing to do is export as text. You can export your profile, 
uh, private character settings, global settings, so on and so forth. So once you do that, you hit, I'm going to export the profile and text, and it brings up a string. All you do is control C. Control C is your copy. So if I was to do that, I'd go control C, and I would close. Now, I use Wago, uh, Week Orders Go, as a site that I upload uh, strings of, for LDY or Week Orders. And I can, what I know, what I have done in the past is, for example, my palette, and I've uploaded my profile. So someone can go and actually co copy that string, and they come in here and they hit import profile, and then control V, which is your paste. And you can import now, and it will import that profile. Once you do that, it'll look just like this. Now, I have not up uploaded my monk's profile. If you would like to see or get a copy of my monk's profile, you can uh, put some message down in the description. Uh, send me a message in the description down below. And if I get enough people to say, yeah, hey, I like that, I'll copy it. Now, warning, I use basically the same profile for all of my characters. I just personalize it for what they do. Okay. All right, so that's all there is to that. Um, one additional note, you see this big blank area right here. This is where I put my ray frames. We'll go into ray frames a little bit later on. So if you have any questions, comments, you want to add something, uh, put a note down the bottom, and I'll try to um, answer your questions the best I can. That's it for the general tabs. There's going to be more to come in the following weeks. It's going to take me a while to get all of this done, but this is the first step. Thanks for watching.